Well, it's a rivalry that dates back more than eight decades. Tonight, people in Nederland and Port Natchez are ready to watch both high school football teams go head to head. KFTM reporter Megan Dillard spent some time with the Bulldogs and the Indians this afternoon to learn more about Mid County Madness. <laughs> black and gold, purple and white. Two communities, two teams, one night. It's Mid-County Madness, a much anticipated game between the Nederland Bulldogs and the Port Natchez Groves Indians. The Nederland Bulldogs student body is getting ready for a pep rally and ultimately for tonight's game. All the hype, you know, from the game just makes it like so much more intense and like just like the big robbery. It's like the third biggest robbery in Texas. I actually kind of like it because, you know, there's a bunch of people. The stands are always going to be packed. So, I mean, it hypes me up. Hype, they say, is part of a long-standing rivalry. Being mascot at one of the most biggest high school rivalries in the state, it's amazing. It's The PNG Indians are also gearing up. Everyone's been dressing up. It's been a lot of fun. It's, it's fun every year, but uh, we get excited no matter what's expected to happen. The players say it's about winning and more. We're trying to go get that W every week, especially this week since it's Mid County Madness is a big week. Fans are the really big part of the game because when the fans are up and they're screaming and stuff, they're, we're, we're all hyped up on the sidelines. I mean, they have a, they, have, they play a big part in the uh, in our. Enthusiasm. Enthusiasm that even extends to the highest levels of local law enforcement. Any suspects? Standing right to my right. And what do you have to say about this? Had nothing to do with it. I would have wrapped a complete building. I wouldn't have done something this juvenile. I've got the FBI coming. We're going to do prints, DNA. So while the chiefs of police sort out the prank, the real question is who will take home tonight's win? Well, a lot of hard work and preparation has gone into both sides. Both sides say they're expecting a victory tonight. It all comes down to what goes up on that scoreboard. Reporting in Port Natchez, Megan Dillard, KFDM 6 News. Officers from both the Nederland and Port Natchez Police Departments will be at tonight's games. The police chiefs say the rivalry should remain fun and that no criminal activity will be tolerated.